Yes, it is episode number one, show number four, show number four, I should say show number four. I'm your host, Minister Stevie T, with the Christian Cartel News Show, and we are today speaking about a uh, story that uh, would have went viral on YouTube, but it got cut. Very short. It was on uh, a Yahoo News, and they cut it. They cut the YouTube feed. I don't know why. I think someone sold them the story, but didn't have permission from the site that I saw. But the title reads: "Lion snaps off wing mirror as if it were a twig." It says a lion in the. Kevin Richardson Wildlife Sanctuary in South Africa walked up to a stock car full of filmmakers and began clawing the backside window as if it wanted to break into the car and eat the occupants. Now, wow, I'm going to pause right there. It's actually a period. Um, now, when I see this, I, I look... Probably about an hour ago, I was looking on YouTube at this one viral video of these lions. that had nine million hits. And the humans sitting in these different vehicles lined up. Like, you know, they on a, a, a New York strip, you know, where they got cars lined up. That's what it looked like in Africa or wherever they were. And a lot of them in these open window cars, open window Jeeps, and I mean, you can just stick your leg down in the line and grab you. But they watching these lions eat this beat up and jump on this, uh, I don't know what it was, an ox, oxen, uh, a buffalo, looked like a buffalo, black buffalo. And um, the lion struggled about a good 10 minutes just to get this thing down. I'm looking at this thing like, you have horns, use them, knock those five lions out of the way, it's five of them that was on it, and all of a sudden, I guess it actually fell down the hill where the cars were, and I'm looking like, man, help the dog on poor little animal, a couple of them bit the tail, and the thing just was, and knocking the lions off. So I'm thinking when, when the thing fell down the hill, the humans at least should have, you know, threw rocks at the lions, pulled out your pistol, pop, 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 you know what I'm saying? And let, 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 I mean, just to scare the lions off or something. Maybe lions not scared of pistols, I don't know. But I just felt sorry for the animal, and um, I'm wondering why they weren't jumping up on the humans. But when I read the Word of God, it kind of gave me an insight. Uh, not a full insight, because I haven't finished reading the Word of God. Um, and I'm going to give you the scriptures that we're going to get into, so that way uh, you can actually weigh in on it and let the Spirit lead you as well. But I'm going to read the scriptures and I'm going to give you some insight of what God is showing me and might be showing you. So, But I'm going to finish reading this. It says, the apex predator at the sanctuary then clawed at the front side window. Unsuccessful, it resigned itself to making a statement about being the king of jungle. That's what it, they read. It's supposed to be the king of the jungle, but it's a king of jungle. Easily snapping off the car's wing mirror as if it were a twig. And then it says, watch the video, which the video is gone now. And it goes down. These are what the guys, this is what the guys were saying in the vehicle. He's really trying to get in. One passenger says at the beginning of the video. And then another say, asks, are we rolling on this? <laughs> Meaning this camera. Are we rolling on this? And then the other guy says, oh yeah, I'm rolling. I'm rolling. The, video, the videographer who uh, said that. And then you also see others holding up GoPro cameras and a smartphone shooting video. Uh oh. Uh oh. One says as the line starts fiddling with the mirror. And I'm going to go down and you know, you see the other picture there when it starts messing with the mirror. 
But instead of driving off the calm occupants in the car, just watch as the lion does the damage. Finally, the driver decides it is best to hit the accelerator with two lions giving chase after them. Now, it goes on to talk about the sanctuary of the animals and, you know, uh, they, they issued a statement that said the sanctuary aims to maximize efforts towards keeping carnivores in their natural habitat. In their na- natural habitat, lions definitely let it be known. They are the kings of the jungle, as these filmmakers discovered. And that's just a, someone I guess narrating on that part and giving a comment. But, but we're going to go and I want you to pull on over to, because I didn't know which scripture I wanted to read first. Um, but we're going to go to Psalms 104, 21. Chapter 104, verse 21. Okay. And it reads, the young lions roar after their prey and seek their meat from God. Now, I was uh, speaking with Kenny Donaldson. I got to say his name again. Uh, you was listening to the last episode we had on uh, Christian Stewart and the movie. Uh, I don't remember the name. Uh, X Camp, something like that. Um, then, you know, Kenny Donaldson, one of my brothers in Christ, he told me uh, this. He said that the animals, the squirrels, he don't see the squirrels jumping tree to tree carrying no suitcase. And, you know, I told this to someone else and they thought it was funny, but he's serious. And it's very serious because God provides for the animals in the trees, the birds, the bees, you know. And as it says here, the young lions roar after their prey and seek their meat from God. So when the animals come around them, you know, uh, God provides that to these animals like he provides for us. And we should be the same way um, because, you know, we seek. We, we The word of God tells us to seek and you shall find. Um, knock that door shall be open. So just like the lion seek, we should seek as well. Um, and God to give it to you. And it shows right here, God is taking care of animals as he take care of us. And I wanted to put that scripture out there so you know that uh, God ain't just going to throw no human in front of no animal. Come on now. The, in the beginning, I was telling y'all about um, the 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 whatever that was, an ox or whatever it may be, a buffalo that got attacked by the five lions. And the humans right there, the lions did not bother those humans. They could have jumped jumped right in top, on top and inside of those jeeps because they had no windows. But they did it. So God was watching after them. I wonder what these 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 uh, videographers, uh, uh, photographers, uh, thank God for not allowing these lions to attack them. So that clearly states that the 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 animals, like you know, the buffalo and whatnot, therefore the lions out there. Okay. Okay. I don't even look at these buffaloes and these cows and all that is for us, really. But I'm a vegetarian, so you know I don't mess with meat. Um, just recently went back to eating fish because I just don't trust trust men clearly. And the word God says, "Do not trust a man." Um, but we'll talk about that on another show. Oh, um, we're gonna go into the next one. Mark chapter one, verse thirteen. Okay. And he was there in the wilderness, 40 days, tempted of Satan, and was with the wild beast, and the angels ministered unto him. Now, if we're in the wilderness, 
which we are, which we are, especially us Christians. We're in this wilderness, this world, stuff going on in Iran, Iraq, China. You know, Christians being crucified because they belief in Christ. Um, you know, the law, these lands here in the U.S. want you to bow down to them and their laws, but it can't, it can't uh, override God's law. You know, we're in the wilderness. So it says here, the angels ministered unto him. So that means we have angels around us when we are in this wilderness. In that vehicle as that lion, you know, hit at that vehicle, you know, and animals have fun too. They play, you know, the animals could have just, you know, pushed that vehicle over if they wanted to. Um, so we got to thank God, thank God for his angels. You know, again, this is show number four okay episode number one christian cartel news i'm your host minister stevie t uh remember to keep god first 66 books salute get in your word of god read those 66 books and you will be educated so the scriptures were psalms 104 and 21 and mark 1 and 13 again 66 books salute i am out until the next show. Show. Well, the yeah, 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 yeah. will be great. Huh?